Today is a big, the biggest validation of the investments that the distinguished senator has made in ecology uh, over the years. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, artificial intelligence is something we've been speaking about in Nigeria a lot in the last few months, but I think over the years as well. But we've actually not been able to put into a uh, practical demonstration of how we intend to participate in that. So we're extremely excited that our AI, they've decided to kickstart the workforce for artificial intelligence in Nigeria, starting from Ikorodu. So it's a very special day for Ikorodu, that Ikorodu can be the host of that initial workforce, but also that sale as well can be the home for the workforce. I think what we're going to see here is practical demonstration of what AI means. We'll start to see its application in society. But as we also see the application in society as well, let's consider the fact that we will be seeing more jobs, which means we're creating job opportunities for our people. Remember that AI jobs are not existing jobs. They don't exist before now. You know, we're not talking about agricultural job or computer programming job. These are new set of jobs that were not there, that we're now seeing being created through this collaboration. And it's a, it's a big, big day for all of us. And how do you plan to ensure inclusivity and accessibility you know, AI across the country and across different sectors? Um, so inclusion in AI is actually two-sided. One is inclusion of the data set that is being in AI. So the effort of our AI is already taking us in that direction which means our voices and reality can now feature in global AI development. The other thing is then AI in terms of the workforce itself. How do we ensure that it's available to both male and uh, female, to both disabled people and those who are able? And I think that's what our AI will need to speak to. We're ensuring that their workforce is diverse and represents all of our people. What we have done here, right, is actually to create a platform within my own senatorial district. You know, to a, a platform that can you know reposition and help and reskill our young young folks who are, who are out of university or out of technical colleges but without the technical skills that today's world requires. So that is what we have deliberately set up here. And in doing it, the starting point was to create the facility. You know, after having created the facility, what we have done next is to look for a partner that can also provide the faculty. That is what um, CC Hall, that's co-creation hall, has done. So this facility you see here, right, is managed by them, and so they handle all of the trainings that we we, we inculcate in the young folks. So we have the likes of uh, tech talent, uh, those who have been around and uh, moved, moved around with us. We also have STEM, which is the science, technology, and um, engineering and mathematics. So what we are doing is deliberately preparing our young folks to meet the challenges of the future and be properly positioned so that they can be employable, so that they can also be entrepreneurial. So the, the, the greatest joy for me today is that, you see, in all that we have done also, as we teach them without, you know, without charging them anything, we also the expected out, outcome is also to create jobs for them. You know, so what our worry is doing is also to provide that outlet where we can onboard them. And that is the joy of today. So I'm very excited and I'm glad that we we'll see the likes of our worry coming to our aid. So we have a lot of young people. As we have done this, our next plan actually is also to set up a facility like this in Ibejuleki. That is part of my district after we can go to another location in Shumuri. So when we have that, we can now address all the, all the potentials that we see in our young, young people so that they can be properly positioned for the, for the way the new world is thinking. Today, more than ever, the world is interconnected. So if we leave these technologies behind and we don't actually develop our capacity and capability to, to use them or actually become a voice in building them as well, we're going to be left behind. So it's important that A, we are actually part of the data, making sure that we are represented, but also that we are able to actually be part of the people that are building this technology as well, so that the solutions that are being developed with AI can actually work for people in Nigeria and across Africa as well. So that, that's my biggest uh, uh, um, contribution to that, which is we need to be a part of it. It's inevitable already. This technology is here. We must make sure that we're part of the builders as well. And how easy is it to train this cell, um, train AI, you know, to adapt our own um, solutions, you know, training it to, to understand our cultures, our languages, and all of that, because it's built in English. How so, easy to train it? So, most, so most, of, uh, most of the artificial intelligence technology right now, yes, is built in English. 
But you have other countries as well, you know, China, that are also leading their own efforts. And so what we must do in Nigeria as well is start to lead our own efforts in building artificial intelligence technology. But some of the things we can contribute to the table that a lot of other countries are missing is we have a diverse nation already that coexists well together. And really. that is part of the dividends. When we call our people out to come and vote, so you know the type of people they voted for. And that is part of the results of the people we have identified that can give back to society. And that is the benefit we are gaining today. Ikorudu is in the world of AI, artificial intelligence today. And we have brought uh, the Minister of uh, Communication communication and the Digital Economy. They have brought him to Ikorudu and the uh, sellers that is the best robotic engineer in the world today. And he's here in our mix. They were here to impart the knowledge to those who are not likely to be a graduate. And what I'm asking them to do, how, how do we uh, integrate this hub to the university uh, curriculum that they can match the two together. And I'm happy the uh, commissioner uh, for science and technology is here and he has already given us promise uh, a lot to add value to what is existing here today and I'm happy that is in our domain I am happy the Lagos State government is in the know of what we are doing today I am happy the presidency they are in the know because the minister is here and we want to upgrade it to international standard, and it is there. Awari is here. They were training our people. The people that are clamoring for jobs, they have gotten some on platter of gold, about hundred. They have gotten it, and more to come. I want to thank them for this initiative. I want to thank the senator for putting this one together for all to see and confirm. This is reality. It's real. Not that they were just telling us about AI, AI. It is real in Nikorudu. It is real in the family name of Abiru in Nikorudu. Um, you heard the distinguished senator mention that from here a number of companies will be created. In Lagos State today, we fund startups in different categories, in health tech, in agricultural technology, in construction, and in many other areas, including climate change. So one of the things that we have dedicated to is also funding AI companies. So through the Lagos State Science Research and Innovation Council, we'll be able to fund artificial intelligence companies that have industrial applications across sectors. And we have dedicated to look at the companies that come from here so that we can help fund them to make them critical mass so that jobs are created. And so we are already in partnership and we'll make that partnership to a logical conclusion.